Hi, I'm Orgon Nick and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making a pyramid lamp called Seeds of Love. This has a, an amethyst point, amazonite, citrine, red coral, amethyst, and a seed of life sticker on it. So anyway, if you like this piece and you'd like to make it or you'd like to just see how it was made, stay tuned. We're going to get started right now. Okay, let's get started. So in order to make this pyramid, you will need a pyramid mold. Mine is a plastic housing with a silicone insert for the pyramid and you can make it as little or as large as you want, or at least as large as the mold allows. But it, it I have several different sized pyramids from this mold and I really love it. In fact, I have two of these. Also, um, I'm going to be using my polyester casting resin. Mine comes in a big gallon jug and uh, it's very cumbersome to try to pour small amounts from, so I keep mine in a jar and it drips down the side and gets messy and sticky on the outside, but on the inside, I assure you, it's clean and perfect to use. Um, you can also use epoxy resin to make this piece. It's just going to take you quite a bit longer is all. Uh, polyester casting resin cures um, pretty quickly, certainly far more quickly than epoxy resin and uh, doesn't have near amount uh, the, of the bubbles that epoxy resin has. So I don't spend a lot of time fighting with bubbles in this, using this type of resin. And um, so to make this a lamp, I'm going to use copper wire string lights. This has a remote and it's on a USB plug um, and whenever I sell these I always order um, adapters so the people don't have to rush out and buy something just to get their product to work I, I think you know it's the least I can do to supply them with an adapter to make sure that their lamp works and um, the gemstones I'm using are amazonite dyed citrine dyed red coral and amethyst and so um, the metal that I will be using for this piece will actually be the lights themselves they come on a copper wire and this will be running all throughout the piece and so together um, they make a piece of organite so um, it usually works out beautifully so I'm going to unfurl these lights so that I can start creating my light cage um, when you stuff all the lights down into the mold it makes kind of a cage of lights and then you just start to pour your resin and drop your gemstones in there respectively so anyway without further ado let's go ahead and get started i'm going to get started by getting these lights ready to put in the mold two things i want to mention about using these types of lights when they come with a remote first thing you should know is that they put a battery protector in here which is a little clear slip and you have to just pull it out uh, for the remote to start to work and when you want to point it at your lights and get your lights to be on a different function you might aim it at the lights and it does nothing and you think wow this is uh, faulty and I've purchased a bad product um, but actually they work by aiming the remote at the USB plug and that's where the magic happens so it could lead you to believe that it's faulty when it's not uh, I felt that way in the beginning and I um, had a fit thinking I had just created this pyramid I thought the lights worked and now they don't 
but uh, it was just that I was pointing the remote at the lights and not the USB plug. So you just need to be aware of that. So let's just get started unfurling our lights. And then we're gonna stuff them down in our mold. Oh my God, I have my windows open and somebody's grilling out. That smell is just so intoxicating. I've already had my dinner, but it makes me so hungry. I want to go and eat off the grill and have a beer. We're in the middle of our COVID-19 scare, so there's not too many people getting together for barbecues, but I'm glad to see that some people are still enjoying the nice weather. Okay, so I got them off the card. And the end that is just an end and has nothing attached to it i'd start with this and i push it down into the apex of the pyramid and then just i keep pushing like every foot i take it and push it down to the apex of this pyramid of course it's going to bounce back and uh You'll push it down again, and you just keep pushing these down, and they will stay. You just have to keep at it, but just, just keep feeding it into the mold, and uh, you'll have opportunities to stuff it down there even better. So just get it started. This is another one of those pyramid pieces that I love so much that I continue to remake them as they sell. This one I am making for my aunt. So I just wanna give a shout out to my Aunt Kelly. This piece is for you, my dear. I love that these lights come on a bendable, posable wire instead of just you know, kind of a limp wire. You can pose this in any shape you want. And once I have finished stuffing all of the lights down into the mold, um, it creates a cage. And we're gonna pour everything in and around this cage. Even to this date, I've never seen anybody, anybody's YouTube video where they make a pyramid lamp like this. This is the only one I've seen, or you know, mine is the only one that I've known about. Certainly other people could be doing it, but I just haven't heard of it yet. So that's why I'm showing you guys give you some other ideas for pyramids to make and it's always great to have a pyramid lamp these um offer beautiful ambiance and the organite itself has great benefits and with the lamp it, you know with it being a lamp it just really accentuates all the goodness that's in the pyramid and kind of brings it to life don't worry about the pieces that kind of bounce out of the pyramid. You're going to be able to press them all down in a little bit. And when we get near the end of the pyramid, our last layer, we're going to want to make sure that this plastic part here that's covering the wire, we want to make sure that that is inside the resin instead of having the metal wire be exposed because if that metal wire is exposed it's going to bend a lot and eventually just break so we want to protect it by putting the plastic piece in the the resin itself so when it gets close to that time we'll set it up and make sure that it's ready and so i'm just gonna push my lights down a little bit more all right, I have an amethyst point, which is really beautiful, and I'm going to stick in the apex of this pyramid. So let's get started with our first layer. 
and I'm just going to start off with an ounce of resin and I'm not sure how many drops are recommended for this particular casting resin um, but all I remember is when I used the amount of hardener that they suggested I I didn't think it was enough so I have on my own begun to add nine drops to start and then nine drops for every ounce thereafter so for one ounce that's going to be 18 drops of hardener and if you are using epoxy resin, you're going to want to make sure that you really stir your mixture well, like at least two minutes and then some. For polyester casting resin, you basically just need to stir it until it becomes clear. Maybe a few moments thereafter just to be sure, but the polyester casting resin um, is easy to mix and doesn't uh, incorporate a lot of bubbles. So before I pour that, I just want to take my amethyst point and stuff it down into the apex and see how easy it fits. And then I'll pull it back out and I'm going to pour my resin right down in the center. I love this new silicone mixing cup. It makes um, it makes everything so easy. When I'm done, the resin hardens and I just peel it right out and begin again. So I've got my resin in there. Now I'm gonna take my amethyst point and shove it down into the apex. Perfect. So we are just going to let that congeal. Um, I will be back in about 45 minutes to an hour and we'll get started with our first color layer. Okay, so it's time that we start adding our gemstones to this pyramid. And in about another 45 minutes, we can do the next layer. Okay, so it's time to pour our citrine. All right, I'm gonna leave this for tonight and I'll pick it back up in the morning with red coral. Okay, let's do our red coral. Okay, so we are finished with this layer and I'm just going to let it congeal and I will be back to do our amethyst next. So um, also I'm going to start pushing down on some of these wires that are sticking out because we don't have, we only have one more layer of gemstones left and I want this to be all contained in that area. I don't want these pieces of wire to be sticking out the bottom. And next layer we really need to be careful and make sure that this piece is submerged under the, uh, the resin. There we go. 
Okay, so we're all set to let this cure for a little while and I will see you shortly. Okay, so it's time to do our last color, our last layer, and that is the amethyst. I'm pushing down my lights just a little bit more so that the metal doesn't show through this last layer. We want it to all be encased in resin and not sticking out. Okay, <clears throat> so that's it, and um, the plastic coated wire is in the resin, so that's going to be perfect. And uh, yeah, so this is going to harden in about three to four hours probably, and we'll demold it then and see what we have. And I forgot to test my lights before I put them in here, so I hope they work. Um, we'll soon find out join me. All right, now it's time to demold our piece and see what we have. I got some smudge marks on it. Other than the two smudge marks, I think it looks beautiful. I don't know how that's happening. Let's test this out. And there's our nice warm glow. I think it's beautiful. I don't know what to do about the smudge marks except put them in the back or on the side. I don't think anybody will really notice unless they look up close. But it turned out to be really beautiful and I'm, I'm pleased with it. I hope my aunt likes it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It makes me super happy when you do that. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can get more inspirational ideas on how to make Organite. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified whenever new projects come out. I'm Organ Nick. Thanks for joining me in my Organite studio. Have yourself a wonderful rest of the day. Okay, I forgot one thing. I wanted to add one of my hologram stickers to this piece. I've been adorning my pyramids with these beautiful stickers and I wanted to put one on here. There we go. That looks nice. Now let's turn it on. There, I think that's a beautiful addition. It just like makes the piece. Anyway, I just wanted to add that and I think that's kind of an important part of it and I, for, I keep forgetting it because this is a new thing that I've been doing. Anyway, thank you so much.